guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Annabelle, and if you're new here, I upload makeup content. Today, I'm doing a different video. You're going to see the new setup of my recording room, my video room, my makeup room. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it, uh, but I've moved my place uh, within in the same house a couple of times already, just looking for a quiet place, place but a place that uh, has enough light. The, this last move, I think, is going to be the last move. I think that I will stay here. I still have to play a little bit more with the lighting and the sound because I this probably is going to sound a, very echoey, but it's because I only have curtains here and, you know, my makeup table. I would probably add a rug eventually and change the chair because right now I'm sitting on a metal chair. I had another chair, but that chair is just too big, too cumbersome, and it's on coasters, but it it doesn't move right. So whenever I was trying to move, I was just changing everything and not being able to stay on focus uh, with the camera. So. I got rid of that one. This one is harder, but it stays still. It stays where I put it. Um, and the other thing that I'm going to talk about is two items. One of them, I have been using it. You already know, I've been raving about this. Sorry for the glare. The LA Girl uh, Pro palettes, eyeshadow palettes. I have three of them and then that was a recommendation by Mrs. Melissa M. So this video, I probably will call it Mrs. Melissa M. And Risa Dos Makeup made me do it. <laughs> and then this is the second product. is a Cover Girl Outlast Extreme Wear Foundation. 3-in-1 foundation. Uh, I, If you want to see my thoughts on these two products just stay tuned and keep watching hello everybody welcome um yes this is me in the raw i am endeavoring the task of moving my studio yet again um we have an empty room in the house well we have two empty rooms really uh we are empty nesters already so the space is available for us to do whatever we want. And I haven't made up my mind yet. I I knew I wanted my studio up on the second story, but I was not sure if I was going to leave it at the loft or move it into the uh, one of the spare rooms. And I have made up my mind. My studio is going in the room. And it's just because I... I feel it's not fair for my husband and neither the dogs to be quiet or um, be, feel restricted in any way from doing anything when I am recording. So I am going to show you what we have now and yeah, and then I'll show you later, but it's going to take a little bit before that happens. So this is the room that we're going to, that I'm going to use as a loft. It still has my youngest daughter's bed in it we're gonna remove this and we're gonna remove that too i have different uh window coverings for this and as i'm looking around now i think i'm gonna have to paint this room because it's raggedy anyway these are boxes that my brother um, has here that he's gonna send um over outside of the country and yeah, this is basically what we have. There's a closet in there and it's full of crap that I'm going to sort through and remove. And then this is the loft area that we have. I have that ottoman that I never wanted to get rid of and it's covered with stuff. Um, we have an ironing board here, but you guys don't see that because this is where I record. That's the New York City background, specifically um, Times Square. <laughs> and that's my messy makeup table. I, I did a lot of cleaning last night. I cleaned all my brushes and all my sponges. So everything is kind of sort of ready. 
um, for me to do another video, but yeah, that's my trash. <laughs> I need a trash bin. So yeah, that's basically it. And I will show you later. Maybe I'll film the process. I'll do a high speed uh, video. Down there is my husband. Baby, say hi. <laughs> Yeah, that's our first story. Well, part of it, but... And we're in the process of getting a new roof installed. We have an active leak, you can see there. So, that's it. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, well, see you next time. Okay, so here it is. My new recording setup. I have a fan there, but I haven't tried turning it on. It's very loud. So we shall see. I mean, when it get, if it gets too hot in here, I'm gonna have to turn it on. I have that light there because there's not enough light in that corner so it gets really dark and it has a lot of shadows so i'm still playing with the light setup but yeah this is it and i have my makeup palettes there and my other palettes there and that bin you can't see it when i'm sitting because i sit right up uh, in front of it and this i've had these lights for a while now yeah, so I decided to put that there to have some light there. I have a candle there. I haven't turned it on to burn, but I'll hope uh, probably I'll turn it on tonight to record. Yeah, this is it. My monitor and the lights. And I put glass on top of my or mirrors. These are mirror tiles. I got them from Lowe's. They come six in a box for. For some funny reason, my box, the one that I got, had only five tiles, but I had an extra one from here before. The only thing is that this one is mounted on a piece of, uh, what is that? MDF, a very thin uh, piece of MDF. Um, so there's a, you know, there's a ledge right there and I have to be very careful because these are very sharp. So I just put it all the way to the back so I don't cut myself with them. Uh, but yeah, just trying to get a little bit more reflection from the lights on top to get rid of some shadows. So yeah, this is it. This is the new setup in my Puerto Rican flag. Yay, Puerto Rico in the house. Let me see, hold on. Puerto Rico in the house. Oh my God, my nails match my flag. <laughs> yeah. So I'll see you in a little bit because I'm going to record now. Hi, hello, welcome back. Here I am with my eyes done and nothing else. And this video today came to me, the idea for this video came to me a couple um, weeks back. Um, I wanted to do a series of somebody made me do it. So for example, today I want to talk to you about two products that two YouTubers recommended and I went ahead and I got them. One of them is going to be a first impression. The other one, I've been using it for a while now. Uh, the one that I've been using the longest has been the LA Girl palettes. This is the Pro Artistry palette. And... I did use most of the eyeshadows from this one. I used this light blue right here, this one right here, and I used the two darker browns, okay? These two, this one and this one um, in my eye to it today. The darkest blue shade I used from this palette of Lano Space Blue. And it's because it's a real true blue 
not a greenish blue is this one right here it doesn't have a name but this is one of those palettes that i've seen them and even morphe has one like this one which is kind of and then this one is named aflano space blue so i don't know but that's uh a lot of material for another video that I am not going to get into in this one. So yeah, uh, I did the wing again. I haven't put my lashes on, but I want to do the face. And now I'm debating. Well, you know what? I'm going to use a CoverGirl primer. I have been using the Simply Ageless primer, primer because I want to use this CoverGirl foundation, the Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 foundation. It's supposed to be concealer. Let me see. Concealer what? Primer, concealer, and foundation in, in one. So I don't need to use a primer then. Okay, so that makes it easier for me. Um, I'm going to apply a little bit more of my eye cream. This is my... Hyaluronic Eye Cream by Mario Vedesco. And I'm just doing this because I want to make sure that I'm extra moisturized. So if this one is a concealer as well, I don't think I'm going to be needing concealer, but we will see how well it covers my under eye. I might do a little bit of color correction. It's just because of my dark circles. The, so who made me the, do this? I seen um, Risa, Risa does makeup. That's her channel. I'm going to link it down below. Um, she's been raving about this one to the point that there was, I guess that there was a lot of confusion. Well, she, I think she is in California, but I'm not sure. No, I'm lying. It's either Vegas or Arizona where she's at. And apparently where she at, the, this foundation came out a lot quicker than over here on the East Coast. So many people, when she spoke about this foundation we're going to the either to the drugstore or walmart or wherever they got or ulta and they were looking for this one and they couldn't find it and the other day i was watching a video and she was explaining that when this came out it was at the beginning of the year and it's still it's july and she is still talking about it like i said well i'm going to have to go get it because I am over 40 as well. So mature skin, you know, we have uh, sunspots and discoloration here and there. So we're always looking for something that cover to cover all of that and not have to pile on a lot of product because the more product you wear, the ugh, cakier it gets. So I'm going to give it a try and we will see. I don't know that I'm gonna do a super extra long. And this is what happens. When you get the foundation and you don't inspect it. But you know what? I wanna do this for you guys. I am going to pray <laughs> that this is okay. And, and put it on. Or was it because I left it in the car? I went to uh, my Walmart, my neighborhood Walmart this morning before going to work. Because, yes, I work on Sundays. And you're probably not going to see this video on Sunday. But whenever you see it, I did record this. I'm recording on a Sunday. And I did go to work because I work Sunday through Thursday. So I saw it when I went to pick up other stuff. I saw it and I got it and um, so this is it. We're gonna go for it. It comes with a pump. So I'm going to pump 
it's just one pump on my hand and I am going to dot it on my face I think that the hardest part of buying foundation at the drugstore, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, is that we, we, it's difficult to match, to color match. So I, they had side by side, um, Maybelline Fit Me and Cover Girl and I know which one I'm on the fit me. So I grabbed my shade from the fit me and I compared it to uh, the, the cover girl until I found one that looked similar. And I put foundation, <laughs> look. Yikes! <laughs> oh Lord. I hope that it doesn't mess it up. Oh well. Oh well. And I'm, the brush I'm using is from e.l.f. I've got this brush a while back. It's not a brand new brush. And by now you probably saw my new filming setup. I don't know about concealing, but you see the one thing that I have trouble with is that my skin, even though it's combination, is I get oily on the T-zone, but everywhere else, I'm really dry. And I have been enjoying this foundation by CoverGirl. Because it, even though it's, it's a little heavier, because this is a full coverage foundation, I feel it sits better than what I'm feeling right now with this one. And even though that this one said that it was full coverage, I don't think that it's full coverage, but I may be wrong. I'm not even gonna apply any anymore. It's already dry. So I guess that it's got a more matte, even though that it didn't say that it was matte. Um, I don't know. I'm still liking the other one better. At least for my, for my skin, however my skin, condition is and I'm going to the L'Oreal True Match uh, concealer the this is the eye cream and a concealer I really like that one a lot a lot um, where are you where are you right here this is a this is supposed to be a pinpointed pointed foundation brush, but I use it for concealer. And what I love about this concealer is that it has hyaluronic acid so it doesn't make my under eye look dry. And then I'm gonna go with my e.l.f. camo uh, sponge.
My fingers are blue from the... From the eyeshadow. I know that some professional makeup artists don't like it when, <laughs> when we do our eyes before we do the face, but to me, it's so much easier because if I need to clean anything, when I'm doing my eyes and I just messed up my brow, even making my brows, I don't like to do them before I do my foundation. Yeah, I don't know how much I love this foundation. <sighs> Not my favorite. It, even though it's sitting good, it's not accentuating um, my pores or my texture. It is not, I don't know. It feels too dry. The other one did not feel oily. And it did the same. But I don't know. I don't know. I guess it will stay here and I will have to use it a couple more times. So I'm going to finish my face and I'll come back. See you in a little bit. Stay there. Don't move. Well, if you need to go to the restroom, this is the time. Um, or grab a snack. Go ahead. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. Makeup is done. Face is done. Um, what are my final thoughts? My skin feels good. Um, it's really, um, dried down. Um, I only did one, uh, pump. I don't know if I should have done another layer and see the difference. I did go in without any primer just because the foundation says that it already had primer. So I'm going to give it another try putting down a primer. I'm going to stick to the CoverGirl one just because it's the same brand. And more often times than not, same brands work good with uh, different products within their uh, brand. So I will give this a go again, and I will let you know what, what my thoughts are. So this was a... Um, Risa does makeup make me do it product uh yeah I mean I it's okay it's not as bad as I thought it was at the beginning I think that initially it felt a little too dry I had been using the other one the uh cover girl ageless one and that one feels a little bit more emollient and my skin I have you know even though it's combination is <laughs> oily and dry <laughs> or oily and dehydrated so yes and then the second product that you've already seen me rave about is the la girl pro palettes this is the artistry one and this was mrs melissa m who made me do it so i hope that you guys give 
both of them or either or a try and um yeah just make sure that you leave a comment and let me know how was your experience with these two products and i don't know what else to say but this is this is it this is the look um i did go a bit bold today i i i've been wanting to do a blue eye again there's something about blue uh, eye makeup on brown eyes that it's always appealing to me. And I wanted to use that other Aflano palette because I that blue matte, deep blue matte, is really the shade that I was going for. I didn't want a, a blue eyeshadow that turned green or had a little bit more yellow in it. I wanted that blue that dark blue that dark navy blue and yes so i'll see you next time thank you for being for watching for coming back remember to hit like subscribe and share if you know anybody who has mature skin who has hooded eyes or who just love makeup for the love of it thank you so very much See you next time. Remember to stay beautiful. Bye.